Hi family, if you are watching the injustice that is being meted out to Arnab Goswami and getting triggered, rightly so, then I will share that this is nothing compared to Congress's many ways since independence to silence honest media. Till 2014, the media was in such a la-la land and so smug in the understanding that nobody could touch them that they were brazen in their corruption. Even before we got our independence, Congress had perfected the art of the PR. We saw Gandhiji and Nehruji the way they wanted us to, thanks to their careful image building exercise. One example, um, oh, how humble Gandhiji was that he traveled third class. In reality, the whole of the third class compartment was booked for Gandhiji and his team. It was fitted with mattresses and crisp white sheets and all sorts of provisions were made available there. Who sponsored it? The donations of millions of ordinary Indians that were made for India's freedom movement. The drama was far more expensive than a seat or two in the first class. But the Congress understood the optics game. Also, how cleverly we were blindsided with the torturous partition of our nation or the truth about the nefarious plan of the national leaders of the Darahua community. PM Nehru didn't even bother to mask his official unethical reprimand to the newspapers who wrote anything that could create a chink in his carefully designed persona. When uh, a stellar journalist wrote about his uh, Nehruji's, that is, intent to make his daughter Indira Gandhi the next PM of the country, the journalist was made to lose his job. Today, when we know of his love of ultra luxury, womanizing, chain smoking, megalomaniac ways, we wonder based on what exactly media helped create an image of a ah, beloved Chacha Nehru who loved the children of India. Indira Gandhi was demonic towards the freedom of the press. The emergency is an unparalleled example of a corrupt intent. I remember as a child seeing redacted newspapers and complete intim intimidation of the media during Punjab's terrorism phase. The authentic voices were snubbed and those who towed her instructions were rewarded with plump posts and national rewar rewards. By the time Rajiv Gandhi came into power, his darling mummy had perfected the media ecosystem for him. Soon, journalists of questionable integrity started receiving national awards and such amazing access to the cabinet ministers that they could supplement their journalistic income with millions as political lobbies. And they kept spinning stories on the mirage-like faint promise of ever-green youth leader Rahul Baba and the inheritor of great nose of her grandmama, Priyanka Gandhi. Were there no journalists till the Manmohan Singh government who were honest? I'm pretty sure they were. But eventually, the journalism world was so filthy that purists could not survive as purists. The system broke them down. This scenario carried on till 2014, after which obviously something changed radically. The e ego balloon of the journalists who considered themselves to be the creators of India's destiny was suddenly burst. For the first time, we heard scary words like fascist, dictator and demise of the freedom of the press, etc., etc. In time, we have recognized their cheap lies. When I see hateful venom that Kunal Kamra and the likes spew against PM Modi, who represents crores of Indian voters and absolutely nothing happens to creepy Kunal and the likes, I see the cabal's lies. So anti-India Rajdeep Sardesai, Shekhar Gupta, 
बरखा दत्त सगारिका घोष रावेश कुमार आर दैट देर इज नो लेवल ऑफ फॉल्सुड दे वोट स्टूप टू मेक इंडिया लुक बैड एन डी टी वी इज एम्ब्रॉयल्ड इन करप्शन शेखर गुप्ता इज नेम्ड इन अगस्टा वेस्टलैंड केस नेशनल हेराल्ड इज अ माइनो माउथ पीस द हिंदू कैन कुक अप ऑल सॉट्स ऑफ ड्यूबियस न्यूज द लिस्ट इज एंडलेस एंड प्लीज डोंट लुक एट बीजेपी टू डू एनी थिंग ऑन इट्स ओन पी एम मोदी एंड द बीजेपी आर वेल अवेयर ऑफ द डेंजर्स ऑफ द एन डी टी वी देर इज अ सॉलिड करप्शन केस अगेंस्ट एन डी टी वी येट दे आर कूलिंग देर हील्स विद द स्लीपिंग ब्यूटी ऑफ अ मिनिस्टर प्रकाश जावड़ेकर इंटेंट ऑन डूइंग एब्सोल्यूटली नथिंग ओवर इट नोइंग फुली वेल हाउ डेंजरस इर रिस्पॉन्सिबल मीडिया इज टू अ नेशन सो मेनी यूट्यूबर्स हैव बीन स्नफ बाय द महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट विच इंक्लूड्स द कांग्रेस पार्टी for us the people of the hindu faith who revere bharat mata and our peaceful way of life it is critical that we do not let arna break down today he is the main amplifier of our voice be it the palghar lynchings or the bank frauds or sushant's mysterious death please remember republic had outed the truth of the car sevak genocide by mulayam singh yadav or lieutenant colonel purohit or sheena bora etc now it seems that anab may bring about a shift and perhaps a final blow to break the snake pit we need to join him we need to create our own trusted ecosystem for our right to uh, celebrate diwali or seek justice for munger good night dear all please think about it and i will see you tomorrow